Yo, what up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Worst Effing Gamer and today I've got a very special episode for you guys. Uh, stick around guys. You're really gonna learn a lot. If you, don't, if you don't learn something in this episode and improve your blitz scores, you have my permission to come over here and slap me up. <laughs> Anyways, let me introduce the man of the hour. The guy that's gonna give us all the tips, all the juicy details of how to be a master blitzer. Mr. Hargrave! Introduce yourself, man. Who are you? Why are you here? And uh, what are we going to learn today? Excellent. Uh, yes. Um, so I, I've been playing the game since uh, since late beta. Since uh, birth. The last two weeks of beta. Since he was born. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> since I was a wee lad. Yes. Um, and I have developed a, a blitz method that has allowed me to be in the top 1,500. For the last nine months or so, um, the 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 blitz that kind of changed me was the Doctor Strange blitz, the original Doctor Strange blitz. Uh -huh. Why? Uh, way back. Right, way right. Back. That's back in the day. The, the, and I, the... I missed that, and I was so upset that I, I developed the system, and I've refined it. I've worked with people on it. Big uh, shout out to my friend Spartan, right. who helped me develop it. Uh, he was my first student, um, really? and, and typically I double people's blitz scores. Uh, so that's what you're here for. I, I can help you double your score. I can help you be more effective at blitzing so you can spend less time and still get in to the top 1,500. I've gotten every single one short of like a couple mistakes where I just didn't hit an extra time. It was very close. Um, but I've always been on par. And I can get as many as about, I think I'm up to 9 million, 9.5. Um, that's is where I can get if I push it at this point. Bro, first of all, that sounds very impressive, first of all. Second of all, I don't even think, if you guys don't know who he is, <laughs> like, tell him what alliance you're in, because yes, they're probably like wondering, absolutely. who is this guy? He's got some random strangers. <laughs> so not only do I blitz a lot, right. um, I also lead a, a alliance in the Pants of Hulk cluster, Pants and of Hulk. I, I lead Pants of Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Hulk Hogan, guys. If you don't already know, you might remember him from such films as U7. Is it really that hard with your boy Valley flying? So uh, check that video out. I learned a lot. I know for sure that I learned a lot from that video. So if you're in an alliance out there that's not able to 100% um, U7, go ahead, watch that video, and tell Valley flying, what's up, brother? <laughs> Absolutely. Give him a big Hulk fist bump for us. Yeah, man. And uh, sure. yeah, we got a good video on um, a good video on uh, Fear of the Darkness too. All right. So that one I haven't seen. I gotta go check that one out because uh, good one. <laughs> as uh, as Mr. Hartgrave already knows, I just started Fear of the Darkness, guys. I'm really excited. We'll talk about that in a different video. Right now, it's all about the Blitz. As you can see in the background here, we're gonna go through my teams. He's gonna help me out. We're gonna kind of rearrange them a little bit. Now we have a lot of the cookie cutter teams that everybody's running as well, but I was doing a lot of stuff wrong, which we're going to find out in a little bit what I was doing wrong because um, what I, uh, oh, we'll go into it as we get along here. You know what I mean? We'll and I'll about teach it. you the thinking behind it too, so that you can do it to your own roster. Yes. Um, I've done this for, geez, about 20, 30 different guys at this point. And it's just, now that I'm now that I'm in the pants of Hulk cluster and leading such a, a top alliance, right. um, I don't really have time to go in personally. So I wanted to make this video so that people could still get the information and help from me um, that I just don't have the time to give on a on a personal basis anymore. Yeah, I mean uh, that's this 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 takes a lot of time. I mean for me personally, I'm actually a little worried if everybody does what I do, the scores are going to go up. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Bro, this information that he's given us might actually affect his personal scores. So it, it might affect everything, yeah. But you know what? In the end, if we can all spend less time on it, I, I think it's a win. Yeah, it's a, th this is kind of what this alliance is all about as well, guys. The greater good of everybody else. Absolutely. Not just our Absolutely. alliance. We're helping out everybody else. So be sure you guys don't share this with everybody. Only the guys at your alliance. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right. So let's. We don't want this to go too viral. Yes. Or maybe we do. I don't know. Maybe we do, but <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's start okay. this off. So let's talk about the Hardgrave method. Yes. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to run two or three high power teams, high synergy teams okay. every two hours. Now that's kind of a catch. 
is that you got to blitz every two hours. If you don't have time or you can't blitz every two hours, you're going to have to make it up in some way, either one extra teams or spend more charges on other teams. Um, but that's how I do it. I, I have a, a lifestyle that lets me spend 10 minutes every two hours to blitz. Right. So, I mean, that works. so blitzing already, we already know, is very dependent on lifestyles, right? So we're yeah. going to take that into consideration. So we have <laughs> me... Me and him have two different lifestyles, right? <laughs> he's got, you know what I mean? Uh, he's got his own job that he does. He works from home. He's working at a desk so he can, no boss to watch over him, right? More time. Me on the Hope other he's not hand, watching tonight. I don't have a boss that watches <laughs> over me, but you guys already know what I do. I own a restaurant, so I'm always in the kitchen. I'm working, working, working. It's not as easy for me to blitz as much as I can, right? I try to get on as much as possible, but sometimes I skip three, four hours, which sucks, but I do it. Now, let's go in, 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 into your uh, your method. So first tip, like you say, is have, how many teams would you say have top, top teams every two hours? If you're doing it every two hours, you just need two or three teams around 250 or 200K. Um, I just have the two around around 250 and I just run them every, uh, every two hours. And um, it, you, the other thing you have to do is you have to be able to win consistently 100% of the time, pretty much. I, right. Sometimes I'll lose, and then I'll, I'll have to spend a little extra time and get back up there. Right. But you got to be on tier 8-3 right. and just so, stay there. Some people knock down to tier 8-1 and then work their way back. I found that takes too much time. It's not efficient. Yes, absolutely. So have <laughs> two really, really high power teams. At least, I would say, try to get up to 250 Right, you would suggest at least try to 250 get... is good right right now at this state, state of the game. 250 is pretty high. Some people have teams that are higher, but then you're just you got like lucky red stars and stuff. It's not right. really realistic. What about nighttime? You don't wake up in the middle of the night doing this. Every no, two hours, right? no, no, I, I don't. Re I don't play in the middle of the night or anything. I yeah. I mean, I really just spend. Um, I think I calculated it out today. Uh, the 10 minutes. I think it's two hours. Two right. hours a day on blitzing, which is a crazy amount. So total but not hours as a day. crazy as you would think you would need to be to, to get into the top. Yeah, that's actually players. not bad because uh, if I compare you to me, uh, my method has always been what I think a lot of the players method is they start off. So you have your saved rosters. As you can yeah. see, I got my rosters here. And then I just go from uh, bottom one by one all the way to the top. And I waste a good amount over 30 to 40 minutes. Right. Okay. And by the end of it, I'm pretty exhausted. I wasted yeah. a bunch of time. My kids missed their dad. <laughs> like oh, as no. some stranger raising my kids <laughs> no, because I'm over there that. blitzing. I'm like, dude, there's got to be a better way. So once I got into the pants of Hulk, you know what I mean? Now I'm finally starting to realize, you know, I, I don't think the game was meant for you to spend hours and hours blitzing. I think there's more efficient ways right, of doing it. So uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I don't think they were thinking at all. Right. You <laughs> don't. This two hours. <laughs> you don't think there was, this was really strategic and they didn't tell anybody. They're like, let's just let these guys battle it out for hours and hours pretty much, i think they just wanted to increase um people's uh time that they spent playing the game right right yeah absolutely um, i mean the blitz you and i we played all, all these type of games before so we know yeah. how they are uh this is one game that i've played that has an kind of an unlimited if you really think about it you can actually blitz by the time you're done your refreshes will come back up again you can blitz again yeah. Right, and if you want to spend your uh, your blitz refreshes, you can keep doing that. So you can be spending hours and hours blitzing, but uh, and I experiment. Not the best way that. to do it. I mean, like that was part of you know solidifying what I do is um, I've tried running all twelve teams. Correct. And I just run them on auto. And if I lose, I lose. And if I win, I win. And who right. cares? Um, just 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 hit auto and let it go, which I can do because I sit at a desk. Right. Um, also very easy. Um, but I found that the, the, the ROI really wasn't there. It did kind of almost double my score, mm -hmm. but it was so annoying. Right. But <laughs> it just really wasn't worth it, you know, to sit there and have to keep. Right. So let's point that out. Let's, auto. let's point that out to everybody that you mean when you pick your two or three top tier teams, they have to win on auto. Right. You don't want to sit there like uh, I don't want to sit there. No. So right, like right. that X-Men team you got, that's brilliant. Right. That wins on auto. Yeah, I mean, I find out X Men. Do you um, also do you pick really carefully your opponents, or do you just yes. anybody? Oh right? yeah, you, you always have to know your that. opponents. 
Right, um, right. That's very important. Uh, another good thing to have to have two teams like that at like around the same power level, 250k. Right. Is they will share opponents. Yes. Yes. So I have a very strong Tech Nerva team and a very strong Defenders team, right. and I'll know which team, which enemy to go after with Defenders and which one to use yes. Tech Nerva on. And right, I'll just so kind of swap to, them back and forth. You have to have a lot of knowledge of the game, guys. All right, because if you're taking our our if you're taking our advice, you go into a Blitz, and you're using the teams that we recommend. Let's say <laughs> you lose, it could be because you're making some bad choices in opponents. Don't okay. don't blame me, right? Away. Yeah, you can't just. <laughs> they won't blame you. They're gonna hit me up and be like, "What are you telling us?" <laughs> you know. So, all right, all right, so. All right, excellent. That's um, that's the main tip. Go. So let's get let's get into some blitz team building. Right, let's do it. Let's, that's what we're here for. Probably the Nobody best part about it, right? All right, so you're <laughs> saying my main team here. It's set. It's good. The X Men. Nothing. Don't make any changes on that. If you guys. No, X Men's X -Men, good. X Men's good. And let me. I got I got some detailed information for you, but let me tell you um, what we're gonna do as far as what the goal is. So the sure. goal is to have all five characters on the team at a very similar power level. But you don't want to focus too much on that anymore. This has changed. That used to be very, very important. Right. Now synergy is far more important. So you want to focus on high synergy now. Okay. And not so much power level because Red Star is kind of yeah, messed Yeah, Red Star has messed everything up, obviously. I mean, if you take a look at X-Men, they win 100% of the time with me. And you can see Colossal. Colossus is only 36,000 and Phoenix is 63. That's literally... You Switch don't even, around. yeah, they don't have to be in the same neighborhood. Matter. Now, it'll help you to pull those guys up. Right, right, of course. But it's not necessary. Anymore. Okay, all right. Um, so, yeah, what, what you're going to do is you're going to form the ideal teams with synergies and then power up the weak links. So, like, right. with that team, just power up Colossus, and that team will just become, I mean, it's probably already 100% to win, yeah. so you probably don't have to worry about it. But if you power up Colossus, you'll be getting more points every fight. Yeah, so of that's course. Good. Yes. Okay, um, gotcha. But uh, you want to prior prioritize power for your top four teams. Okay. You don't, we're not going to worry too much about the bottom roster, which is good about this method. You don't have to have strong teams all the way down. You don't have to be a whale. Right. Um, in right. fact, this this method, this blitzing this way, will help you compete with the whales. I'm I'm a leader of a pants of Hulk alliance yes. because I blitz this way. Yeah. Not that spent. Means, that, I vouch for that. Uh, like I said, you have a lot of guys out there in the community that we know about. Like everybody's trying to help everybody out, building as many teams as possible. And I, I, I'm actually number one <laughs> thinker about this because, as you can see, I was trying so hard, looking up all the information. How am I going to build the most teams I could possibly build? And then I, you know, I realized you, you don't have to do that, man. You, you could do that, build as many teams as possible to get up to 8.3. Correct. But then once yeah, you get we're going we're we're to build all, all, all the teams. Right. Because uh, you're going to need them in the first night. But then after the first night, you don't need them. Right. So once you get up to 8.3 and then you only focus on your main, let's say, four teams. And then build those teams up as much as you can. And then just recycle the process. All right. Yep. So let's keep going okay. here. We all right. So X-Men, that's good. Next one, we're going to take that Guardians of the Galaxy there. Whatever that team is, we're going to scrap that. All right. <laughs> so this team is actually working out pretty good for me. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. We got to use those guys in different areas. I got you. Uh, what we have to do is build Tech Nerva. Do you know how to build Tech Nerva? Yes. Uh, Tech Nerva. We got uh, Rocket, obviously. So you can, we got yeah, Star you can Lord. Leave, uh, Rocket and Star Lord right where they're at. And you're going to pull Drax and pull Vision. And pull Vision as well? Yep, pull Vision. We'll need him elsewhere. Well, we're we're going to keep Groot? We're going to put Groot in. Okay. And then we're going to stick Minerva back there. Yes. And then Thanos. Or Drax, who's ever higher. Um, so, I mean, well, Drax and Thanos are literally identical for me. Almost 40 and 39. Um, now, this is the team uh, that obviously... I mean, that's kind of your opinion. Just throw, just throw Thanos in there to give you something different. Yeah. So, there if you, you guys don't already know... This is your main raid team for you six yeah. anyways. This that, team is my just main incredible. Team. That's, yeah. Fear the, the darkness, darkness raids, all yes. that stuff. It's a great team. All right. So we got that there. I'm going to have to... Is that a 250? That's a 241. It's very close. Yeah, you're sad. And if I work <laughs> on it, I just got to do some team management here. Delete some, move some up, yeah, you know. Yeah, All right. So we got that team set now. The, obviously, this is going to affect my name, all my other teams. Yeah, yeah we're going to rebuild, rebuild them all. all. It's all right. All right, so that's uh, the second so team. next one up there. Are oh, you going to bring it up the top? No, I'm not going to do it now. We don't have to waste all that time, but we'll check that one out right there. So we got two there. All right, what's your next suggestion? 
All right, let's, let's go, go into this uh, Crossbones Kingpin team. Sure. And now we got to pull Thanos off of that because we just used him. Yep, Thanos is out. And I would put Hand Sentry on here. Okay, so we got we're going with all villains, obviously here. Yeah. And you, you don't, don't have Winter, Winter Soldier used at all. Is he is he high enough to go in here? Instead I of gotta uh, check. Rath? He's I've worked on him quite a bit. Now let me see. He's at thirty nine thousand. Yeah, yeah. Pull Krath because we, we can put, put him on a different team. team. And we can put Winter Soldier in here. He doesn't fit too many other things. Right. I mean, the only time that I've seen success with Winter Soldier is with Captain Marvel. Marvel, because of the bonus. But I'm not sure if that's only an alliance. This team isn't the best. I'll, I'll just tell you from experience. But it, it can definitely get the job done when you're climbing the ladder. But you just don't want to face defenders with that team. No. <laughs> <laughs> Keep an eye on guys. Don't face defenders with yeah, this team. Yeah, that, that one will work on lower tiers for you. It won't work on 8-3. Right. All right. So, but we don't need it. <laughs> we've adjusted that one now. Okay. Now your brawlers. The brawlers are an interesting one too. Yeah. I mean, I love using the brawlers to be honest. I mean, getting defense the down. One. Can... The one thing I would suggest with this is I think it's solid, except I would pull Spider Man and put in Captain Marvel. All right. You want to put Captain Marvel in here? Captain Marvel's really cool in a brawlers game. Oh yeah. It's. I and I mean obviously, the theory behind Spider Man there's I was putting Rhino in my uh, oh yeah yeah in my Spider Verse. Sp Spider Man's solid on Brawlers too, but um, it, the, the Spider Verse team is a bit in flux right now with all these Sinister Six guys coming in. Right, and another problem is we'll talk about it when we get there. But my Spider Man, as you can see, is like fifty four thousand, and the rest of my Spider Verse are not that close. That's yeah, annoying. yeah, I saw that. All right. <laughs> And yeah, this isn't this isn't standard for everybody. There are there are there are tweaks to this. Right. Um, this is close to where you should be at, but you can you can sub things around, especially like Spider Verse. People can kind of go into a lot of the different teams to fill holes and stuff. Um, and we'll have a look at these teams. Maybe, maybe order them out by power level after we build them, and then yes. see if there's anywhere we can improve or change. Okay. All right. Let's look at this um, this team down here, which just confused me. Which one? <laughs> this Captain, Captain America, America team. Oh, uh, yo, uh, this team was actually uh, a suggestion from somebody from our alliance. Okay. okay. Tentacle Bunny. You know who that is? Tentacle oh, Bunny? Yes, yes, yes. My, my fine furry friend. Yes. Okay. Which said uh, that this was a 100% cool uh... win rate. 100%. Right, and uh, at first I didn't believe him, but I tried it out and I won. So yeah. I'm not, I mean, obviously if you got Minerva, if you got Captain Marvel, you know what I mean? It's going to win. But uh, what do you suggest here? All right, let's, let's pull Minerva. Minerva. Yep. Let's, let's pull Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel. Oh, yeah. And, and now, now what we're, we're going to do is make like, like an Avengers, Avengers Mark 1 team. So we're going to get Hulk on here. Mm -hmm. Now the only issue is my Hulk is very low. That's okay. But I'm... I would, they don't need to do too who's the other hero so I can put Hulk at the end there or doesn't uh, not matter? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, okay, actually, uh, pull Hawkeye and pull Black Widow. Mm. And then put, Hulk, uh, put Hawkeye in the middle. Okay. Yeah, my Hawkeye is pretty low and so is my Hulk. Great. And now we can put... So we want Black Widow next to Captain, I'm guessing? Yeah, yeah Black, Black Widow goes behind Captain America. America. That, that's, that's an old school raid trick, trick right there. Right. Um, what it does is it stops chain moves because Black Widow goes stealth on the first turn Correct. and then Captain America taunts. And so if anyone tries, any any combo move will get stopped because they, it, won't, it won't chain Black Widow. Correct. Yep. You can do that with any stealth character or any high invade character. Put them behind a tank mm -hmm. and it'll stop chain moves. That's Absolutely. Just a solid tip in any mode. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, so who is going to be... The fifth. Yeah, yeah. So, so we're, we're gonna, gonna put, put Thor, Thor in right now. now. All right. So now we're gonna put in Thor in this slot here, and actually my Thor is decently okay. Let me see. Where I don't is think it? I saw him. In oh yeah, right there. There's the blonde. There, there we go. go. Awesome. And Black so Widow. Is... And then Black Widow, and then Hulk. Yes. And that's your mark one. Now I do have a lot of experience with this team as well. They went all the way up to like eight one. Once yeah. I get to eight three, I find them. I'm losing quite a bit with this team. What do you? What no, do you? We, 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 don't, we, don't, we don't need them on eight three though. Right, but I, then, that's just I'm just saying from experience. Yeah, they're not that good at eight three. No. All right, so let's. All right. 
Yeah, we're not we're not building a bunch of teams that can win on eight three because that's what not what we're trying to do. If that was your goal, well, then right. you would probably build these differently. Right. We're just building as many sure to win as we can. Yeah, with many my sure roster. to win as can that will win on lower tiers. Right. On auto, so that you can because because the goal is going to be to get to eight three on the first night. Right. Which is going to take you about an hour if you can run all these on auto. That is. Right. All right. If you got if you got to play them, it's going to take you a lot longer, and you're going to struggle. True. And that's going to set you back. So now we're going to go on to this weird team right here. I know you're thinking like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I looked at that one too. That was also confounding. That one was oh. a little strange for me because I just moved some things around. This was last minute thing. And I'm actually, to believe it or not, the, my my idea about this team is I'm kind of saving it for Ultron. I was thinking yes, I could stick know, Ultron in this one. It would be a great... slot Ultron into that, into that team. Yeah, so that's why I kind of set this up. But yeah. this does not win that great in E3. Um, what I would do is just make a Merc team. Okay. And then we'll, we'll find a place for, uh, for Ant-Man and Wasp later. So when uh, you say so Merc, you just... want, uh, uh, st my Daredevil as well? I mean, uh, uh, Deadpool. Deadpool, yes. Yeah, you can stick them on there. And then you, you have to put a different brawler into the brawler's team. Or, or sometimes I'll, I'll put a guy on two different teams and then I'll just, you know, spend the five. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. To run it again, it's not a big deal. I try to avoid it just to maximize um, how much I can spend on my top teams, but it's not the worst thing you can do. All right, so let me see here. And yeah, what we're doing here, the philosophy is we're just maximizing synergies. Even Korath? I'm pretty sure Korath um, is a mercenary, right? Yeah, you can use Korath. Mm, let's see. So, uh, finding all my mercenaries, Derek. Uh, bullseye. I know you got a riot guard. I know I have a pretty decent riot guard, and I know. Yeah, riot, riot guard's on a different team, which was, which was fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> so there's, I'll put riot guard there, and then I guess, I, I guess I'll use my bullseye, correct? Like uh, that's uh, almost two hundred k. That's solid. All right. And then we got the mercenaries there. Mm. For some reason, Nox is a uh, an all time slow. When you need and it to yeah, if you're perform. a beginner player, what I would do is I would suggest instead of trying to equal evenly power up your whole roster, mm -hmm. get one or two good really, uh, one or two really good teams. Right. And you know, level everything within reason, but but get two really good teams, and that's going to help you. You know, like you're good, like uh, what we we're talking about the Tech Nerva that raid right. team. Yes. That'll be important for you. Have that so you can do Fear of the Darkness, so you can help out in raids. And, uh, yeah, something like X-Men is great. You can take over the arena with that. Yeah, so, I mean, each team, if you guys don't already know, if you're, you know, obviously if you're starting off new, because everybody's at a different level. If you're yeah. older player, you've heard a lot about this before. If you're a newer player, especially guys on my channel right now who are probably just getting into this game because they're hearing about it from me, um... Your X-Men that just came out right now, it's going to be a long time before you can get them, obviously because of the legendary. So something like Tech Nerva, which Minerva should be close to getting released. She's coming real soon. There's right. been a date of mine. So she's going to come to the premium orbs, the mega orbs, right? Ultimus orbs, all that stuff. Yeah, so that'll be a lot easier to achieve. And you can use that team for so many different modes in the game for raiding, which is going to help you out a lot with your alliances, get better alliances, uh, Blitz. And then uh, slowly work on your arena teams. Absolutely. All right, so now let's jump into this. Uh, yeah, Mr. Mr. Controller's, Controller's here. So we got an oddball on the team. We got Quake. <laughs> yeah. Quake doing on there. Shield, I mean, she's good. AOE. I understand it because she throws slow. out debuffs, so it helps. Yeah, I was using it for the offense down, for the slow, for the AOE attack. So. But I'm guessing uh, you want me to take her out. Yeah, I mean, uh, not you, know, you, you could put her on there. Who, who do I have on there, though? There's another Mystic Controller, isn't there? Uh, let me think. Uh, Mystic. Uh, you, you can put Thanos on there, but well, we I think to... uh, you know, maybe I think uh, what's his name? <sighs> Nobu. Nobu. Yeah. Nobu. Yeah, throw Nobu on there. There you go. That's his home. Because there's I... enough hand members to make a hand team without right. Nobu, so you can throw Nobu on the uh, on that Mystic. Right, and uh, now these guys have a lot of great synergy here. Uh, they get crazy. I think it's a ten percent speed from low yeah. key. Then you get your blinds and stun, if you can stun from Mordo, and then she, Scarlet Witch, will extend all, all the blinds, which will help out a lot. And then also, you if you skip her first initial 
AOE extend of the blinds, then Doctor Strange can flip all their, you know, buffs and then extend them afterwards. So there's a lot of good things going on here. Now, the only question I have with this team is, is there enough damage going around? <laughs> right? I mean, uh, that's, that's my Nova, only Nova concern. Nova actually helps out a lot with that. I mean, yeah, he does have his summons and... Uh... He summons a lot of damage and uh, it, it helps. All right. I, it, it's, it's not, once again, it's not the best team. It just It's going to use your whole roster. Right. Um, in war, you can use this team on Kree. It'll take them out. Hmm. No, that's actually pretty good there because uh, Kree are a pain. They're a pain in the butt in the in war. I faced them with my brotherhood. I lost, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, next time, send in your Mr. Controller. Don't tell anybody, shot. but I don't know how it happened. I lost with the <laughs> brotherhood. I just told everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how. I don't know what was going on that game, but uh, yeah, I lost. It was very strange. I'm like, what is going on? All right, so let's jump into my. Uh, Okay, now we're looking at Brotherhood. Why is Night Nurse on here? Oh, I know you're. Wait, I know that was your question. <laughs> it was only for points. All right. Well, look. Because, like I said, um, I was. No, this is this is something that everybody tries to do. They try to put Night Nurse on a team, and you just got to give it up. Yeah, man. It's a useless character. It's <laughs> over. Trying to just get the extra pass. points. You wasted the resources are are wasted mm -hmm. at this point. At least until they uh, change your heal around and make her good. Yeah. There you go. This, this yeah, team. of course. So yeah, you I, could I, also if Mystique's not very high, I was gonna I was gonna see you could put Venom on there too. He yes, Venom, I have seen that. But now here's another thing that I've noticed here in the past. Check this out now. So I'm gonna show you guys a, a smaller thing that might actually affect on how you build your teams. So at this point here, I got my uh, Brotherhood. As you can see, forty three thousand points is what I'm gonna earn at this point. I'm at eight point three right now. If you change, like let's say I change my Mystique. And I put in uh, like I had Night Nurse, which is a lot higher. Now, in my opinion, I thought, well, 43,000, you know, is a lot better. Unless your opponent changes, you stick to the same payout. So your payout is actually not better at all. It doesn't change anything, even though your hero. You, you got to go up quite a bit higher. Yeah, you have to go up so up. much yeah. higher that it changes your opponent and then it changes your payout. So. I mean, that's kind of something that you should pay attention to because uh, when you make your teams, like I was doing before, I was putting Night Nurse in there, but putting Mystique does not make any uh, that big of a difference, and it's a lot easier of a win. She has a yep. lot more synergy with these guys. So, you know, that's something to think about. That's why we're building these teams here that they can easily win because of synergy. All right. Yeah, and, and Brotherhood's a great one. It, it's always going to be an auto team. They're yeah. always going to win. Just about. You got to still pick your opponents. But yeah, uh, I mean, I love using the Brotherhood. I, I wish that I had gone a little bit, of, you know, higher on those guys back in the day. But oh well. Okay, so now let's go on to. What well, do you think about the my next challenge? Is you just now, now once you have the team is built, you can see who's low and just right. move them up, and that'll move up the overall power. Uh, your fairy team looks fine. Yeah, this is okay. Even though Kree uh, team's fine, Kree is good too. I got the minions there with Ronin. Power obviously. armor. Okay, here's the one. Yeah, I mean, I put obviously I put Rick, <laughs> Rick Riot Guard there because of his uh, defense up. <laughs> no, no, no. Riot Guard goes. Vision goes in. All right. Instant defense up from Vision. Yeah, I mean, uh, that, this is what I was running before, and I run this on, uh, I run this on offense, war offense as well. Oh God, yeah. Yeah, because the Vision is just incredible with this, but yeah. Yeah, before I was just, I was trying to spread my team up as much as I could to try to use up as many heroes as I could, but uh, this is. Well, we should we should still be achieving that. At yeah, the this is going to be way more efficient here. It's going to. I mean, there's, there's a few people that don't really fit. Like Quake doesn't really have a home, mm -hmm. and uh, what Night Nurse doesn't really have a home. But you know, there's just going to be a few homeless I mean, homeless characters out there. Quake, <laughs> I found. I find Quake in the Avengers, you know, very useful. You know, obviously, because she's I mean, got she's the, a great character. She's a great she character, yeah. Work anywhere, but uh... all right, let's move on okay, here to yeah, the Spider Verse. Yeah, the Spider Verse. I don't really know what to tell you about Spider Verse because, yeah, like I said, it's kind of changing. Right. Um, but would you? Uh, so I was trying to use a Rhino there. Would you just go with traditional? I would, and just I would go probably just pull Rhino and put Spider Man on. Right. It's a lot. At least, in, at least until more of the team comes out. Yeah, and then I can just roll with the Sinister Six and take yeah. Goblin out. We'll see how that works out. Wait, I'm moving too far down. Spider-Man is one of my higher guys. Spider-Man kind of makes the makes Miles work. Right, right. You should always try to keep them two together. 
And then he also gives Venom a buff. Mm. Uh, Venom gets extra focus from having Spider-Man present. Wow, that's incredible. I know that if you, I know that his his uh, passive also, if you can max it out, it gives Miles. I think it's, I don't know if it's ten percent extra dodge, which is already insane. Yeah. But it gives him and Miles, so that's already. But really, now, really tough. I'll, I will say this: with the Mystic Controllers and with Spider Verse, they're not teams you can really win on auto with. Right, so you have to really pay attention on those teams. You got to play those ones. Yeah. Right, right. Okay, so, so. I, I, I don't, I don't like to use them. I have a pretty strong Spider Verse, but I, I would never put it as one of my top teams because it just, it's way too. Mm. Way yeah, too uh, my, my, mine is the other way around. It's not that great, so I always have to be careful <laughs> what I do. All and, right, and they should be able to win on auto on a low tier. Right. Uh, so but once you get up high. And yeah, Wakanda was good. Yeah, that, um, this was my last one that we had yeah, there. Was I think, my I think we pretty much fixed all the all the little problems that I saw. All right, so now it's pretty much just time to get them up there and, now you, and I arrange think them. That should be your full roster. You can check because if you run all your teams tonight on, right. uh, or tomorrow night on on the Blitz. Uh, yeah, that's what who, I'm gonna. That's what I'm planning on. Who's left? <laughs> yeah, I mean that's kind of the plan. Once I run everybody, uh, well, I'm gonna see who's left, and then if I can make. Any other team that's possible. Obviously, I'm I'm gonna probably stick it in there. But usually, what from what I found, the more the most teams I can get out of like that are really really good that can win is 14. There's always like I cannot get the 15 of like sure to win teams. 14 is the maximum that you can get. But anyways, let's go back to the initial, you know, initial thought that you had. So. You would suggest that I just do run my, let's say, my top all the way up to defenders, right? So my top four teams every two yeah, hours. I, I don't know about that that villain team there. It's uh, this one. It's not reliable, but defenders definitely is reliable. Defenders, Tech Nerva, and X Men. You right. can run those all day. Right. So run those as and quickly. Yeah, run those every two hours as much as you can during the day and you yep. don't even have i don't have to keep running all my lower teams i mean I, if you don't get us wrong guys we're not saying all don't right. run them if you have the time in the world and you want to blitz all day long to be be our guest right go ahead that, run that's all the way teams. to get the top 100 by the way is um that's the only difference between what i do and the guys that get into the top 100 they get into the top you know 10 right is they run all their teams every two hours yes uh, i can't do that right right i mean t- <laughs> yeah exactly me neither <laughs> That's so, impossible. So that's why I go for the top two method, top three. Um, right. We're yeah. So our goal is if we crack fifteen hundred, we're we're happy with our results because we're not going to be I spending mean. our whole lives blitzing. A couple hours. I mean, a couple of minutes, ten minutes, ten to fifteen minutes a day every two hours is doable for for us. And there's actually no difference. Uh, there's a very little difference. There's a big difference between top what, one two percent right. and and top one thousand five hundred. Right. There's very little difference between top 1,500 and top 100. It's like 15 more shards. Yeah, you're right. And it would take a lot of, a yeah. lot more of an effort. So if you don't plan on probably moving even higher than 100, yeah. then I probably wouldn't suggest that you're going crazy if, all day if long. You're, if busy. you're going crazy for top 100, you may as well aim for top 15. Yeah. Because it's not going to pay off unless you do. Okay. All right. Well... That's pretty great advice, bro. I'm I'm, I'm so glad that you came on here and you know you helped me out fix my teams now, here. A as a bit. bonus, these are all great war offense teams too. Right, exactly. So since they're saved, because I always had this problem before, where I would go into my save teams on on at war, and then all my teams would be all split up. I'd have one guy here and three guys there. I'm like, oh yeah. god, how am I gonna do this? So now you yeah, can that... also keep these teams and use them for war as well. Yeah, that, that's that's when I made the switch over to this method. I used to use um, an older method where you, you'd uh, just just focus on power levels and keep um, power levels the same. Right. But with war, it was like, no, nah, I just I just need teams that work and are quick to use. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then if you have them, you still do want to keep the power levels even because then it'll work out better in war. Right. Because um, I'll, I'll throw this little war tip in here too, um, and a lot of people will mess up in war because they won't understand this and that is if you have one character on a war team uh, a war defense team that's like 60,000 right you can't send in two like 30,000 guys 
Oh, they're trying to take like, it out. That's 60. Yes, you Because right. that 60,000 is so much stronger. Yes, of course. Than the absolutely. other ones. That they just won't even do any damage. Right, um, exactly. So it's good to have teams that are just, you know, even level of power. I mean, yeah, the way I the way I uh, kind of reference that is uh, if you're trying to break down a wall, right, and you have a big, big giant sledgehammer, obviously, but then you come with like two of those hand air hammers, you can have five of those and it's not going to make a difference. No. As many as you want. You can put five heroes that are 20,000, and if you're going up against a 50, 60,000, one hero, they're going to get demolished, especially if they have an AoE. So you always got to be careful about that. You have to have at least... I think we're talking about Captain Marvel now. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't don't mess with Marvel. She, she will mess you up. Yeah. If you, go in, if you go in underpowered on her, it's over. Yeah, of course. All right, so now you've got your teams built. Let me tell you what you're going to do with them. Yes. So this is Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday. Great timing. Right. You're ready well, for it. Yeah. I'm not sure who the character is going to be. But uh, this week was a was a one that's uh, everyone should have. I think it's Ant Man, right? Yeah, Ant Man, and we had Daredevil. I mean, yeah, Daredevil before. So this was kind of so, easy ones. So you don't need to spend any charges on them. So right. You can save them up for uh, for tomorrow. What you're gonna do is the first night you're gonna start with your weakest teams. Yes. You're actually gonna start with your Hydra, your Ravagers, your Aim, uh, which you don't even have saved here, right? Right. Of course, no. Those guys are so low. <laughs> <laughs> what I would recommend for anybody um, who who hasn't even moved them up to like level twenty four or forty eight mm-hmm. is move them up to level twenty four or forty eight. It takes about I don't know like thirty thousand gold. It's like a nothing. Right. Um, put the green gear on them. Yes. You probably have plenty of it. Um, maybe a little bit of blue, and all the green abilities or blue abilities. Right. Um, and it quickly moves the power level up. Yeah. So there's um, more points right there. And just gets you a few more points. Just makes them. It makes them a little bit easier to win too. Correct. Okay. Um, like my Hydra is not good, but it's an auto win on tier one one. Right. So that's where I start. Right. So use up start all of thing. your, all of everybody at the lower tiers, or your weakest. Obviously, your weakest heroes. Use them up to climb in tiers. Not necessarily to you know get a lot of points. No, but I only use my Hydra use... once. I used right. it on tier one one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They start and they never they never see the the, the, the light of day again. <laughs> the light of day again, yeah. Uh, so right. you're gonna start with Hydra Ravagers, Aim, Hand. Uh, you know, those are just mine, and then whatever is is weakest. Yes. Uh, and you're you're gonna play all your teams, and you might even want to do like a couple of charges just to make it easy. Like my Fury kind of sits in the middle of my roster. Yep. Um, so if I'm like short. If someone didn't win, I usually use Fury to compensate. Okay. Um, like if I'm on tier three one, and I've hit my Fury team, I'll kind of just use them four times. Right, right, right. Just to get up to the next tier. Right. Because okay. on your first run, you want to get around tier five is good. Tier four is good too. Tier mm-hmm. four five. Um, and then two hours from then, when everybody comes back, um, you'll want to get up to eight three. Right. So it's going to take a full. It's going to take two rotations. Two rotations, right. uh, like a rotation and a half, because you're not going to start back over with Hydra. Right, of course. Uh, you'll probably start back over with your saves, yes. at the bottom of your save roster. And let me just point this out, guys. Don't use your uh, your Blitz, right? Don't use your Blitz charges on your first run, because you're only at four tier four. I mean, let's make that clear, just in case yeah, somebody yeah, doesn't understand. Yeah, yeah, don't use your top teams yet. Yeah, until you get to 8-3. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, so yeah, that's what you'll do. And once you get up to eight three, like if it was a kind of a, a nothing blitz before, and you, and you haven't really used your top two teams, right? Then you can push up to about a million points you can on the first night. Yes. Okay. Which is really that's a really good start. Right. Um, another good start is just getting through all the milestones, which I think happens around seven hundred and fifty k. Yeah, that's usually I can. I usually I can get through those in day one. Yeah, that's you great. know depending on like I said depending on my schedule, but theoretically. If you theoretically you could, depending on how you like, I said you got to sleep. But usually the the blitz unlocks at seven, right? Seven o'clock. Two hours later, nine o'clock. If you get you know a nice yeah. full rotation there, and then if you're still up another two hours by eleven, you know that's <laughs> that'll be great. Good squeeze then, yeah. I think uh, I'm here on the East Coast, uh, so I think when daylight savings time was in effect, I could squeeze three runs in. Yeah. Now, uh, now that it's shifted later, uh-huh. I can only do two. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm actually the same. I'm in the East Coast. I'll be lucky to get two <laughs> with my yeah. kids. <laughs> but okay, but you can so, do three. Yeah, you could. And then I think uh, some people, like in Australia, they they have it weird. The time zone doesn't work out. <laughs> uh, the Mozzies. I have no idea what's but going I think on. They over get there. like extra runs at the end. Uh huh. So it it works out in the end, but at the start they get kind of. Right. We got to move up to Australia then. We got to start the blitz here and then we got to <laughs> finish right. it there. <laughs> All right. So All right, excellent. So yeah, so what you're going to do, yeah, let me let me give you the road the road the road map too. Yes. Uh, so the first night you're going to get up to tier 8 3. Um, if if it's going to be one of these big blitzes that we've had recently, Colossus uh, coming up is going to be like Shocker. Right. If they ever put Minerva in a blitz, Huh, yeah, you're going to want to get blood a million bath. in the first night. A million <laughs> five. A right. lot. Um, and we're just spending our cheap 25 charges on the top two or three is what we're doing. That's it. You're not you're not using all 500? No, no, definitely not. Okay. No, just, just, just the top yeah, that's 25. good to know because what I was doing before is, uh, I would, well, obviously I would save my, uh, if there was a challenges at that day, I would save my challenge blitzes, right? I wouldn't collect those. I would yeah. save my blitz from the dailies. So I would start out with 500, let's say, right? <laughs> I would get up to 8-3, and then I would spend all... So I would run my first team, my second team, my third team, my fourth team, my fifth team. So about five teams, use up all 500 of my blitzes, right? Then collect those, and then the next day I would spend those. But yeah, I would use all those up with the first, like, five teams. I mean, if you, if you know you're not going to have time the next day, that's perfectly valid. Okay. Um, especially if all if, if you have four or five teams that are all 200K, 250K. Right, right. It's the same difference. But you wouldn't, uh, wanna, you wouldn't waste them on some, some teams that are under 250. Oh, God, no. Under, no, like, 200. No. Oh, yeah, right. you'll see the point differences drop a lot. Like, on my, on my top teams, mm -hmm. I'm getting uh, 70,000, 75,000. Yeah, let me just. And then on my show. lower teams, it's like forty thousand, so it's it's like half as yes. much. So like, I would get sixty five thousand if I was running my, you know, high X Men team here, and if I go down, I just go down to any my first yeah, under two hundred k team. See what the, the lower down you go, it's diminished returns. So let's go to like uh, Fury Shield here. They're one eighty four. Forty eight thousand. So that's about what is that, fifteen yeah. seventeen. Thousand. Yeah, 20,000 drops. Yeah. It's not bad, and they're a great team, and they can probably win on auto. Right. But but it's still it's 20K less. It's which going to add up because you got 20K spread over, what, five, five fights? Yeah, so that's 100,000 yeah. there. Right, right. So you're giving up 100,000 because of that, or when you can use them, you can use Just them the tomorrow, day. yeah, with your X-Men and get higher totals. Okay. And I'll usually, I'll usually use those charges right in the morning or at night. Because if you use them during the day, um, you're going to throw off your teams. Um, so, like, you know, one, one team's going to recharge an hour from now, and then the other team two hours, and it's going right. to kind of get out of whack. Yeah. Um, you want to be able to run them real fast together. At least I do. Okay. I just want to take a 10-minute break, run <laughs> my two teams. Okay, gotcha. So then you just... <laughs> so, go ahead. Keep going. Excellent. Um, so... On the second day, you're going to want to start off on Tier 8-3. And you're going to run your top two or three teams every two hours using all the 25 cost refreshes. Yes. And at the end of the day, you want to be around 3 million, 3.5 million. All right, so at the um, end I've of day two. I've done as two, much as 4.5 when I'm really pushing. Right, so at the end of day two, run your top two. two to three teams every two hours, which shouldn't take too long, right? That, Ten even, minutes. Even... Yeah. Like, even if you are really busy or working, just ask your boss for a bathroom break. Literally, 10 right. minute bathroom <laughs> break, go in there, blitz away, do your two, three teams, and then go. <laughs> right? That's doable. Like, why is Johnny going to the bathroom every two hours? <laughs> hey, he's, you know, he's on a he, diet. He's got to do his blitz. <laughs> he's doing his blitz, boss. <laughs> All right. Gotcha. You so know what you, you could do? You could take up smoking. Right, exactly. There you go, kids. You can just pretend a free tip that you got to go for a, a cigarette break every two hours. I got an itch. <laughs> All right, gotcha. Then you want to be around or three. Or you can get diabetes. Yeah. And you can tell them you got to do your insulin shot. I don't know. Do they do that? I don't think you do that every two hours, though. I, no, you do, I have the worst case of diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> it's really it's bad. so bad, I got to take it every two hours. <laughs> 
Usually, I think you take it like once a day. But don't get fired. Right, exactly. Don't <laughs> don't sacrifice your job for this. But at the end of the day, you can just spend money to buy the shards. Yeah. Well, you do. You know what? You also got to risk it to get the biscuit. You know. <laughs> so you might want to risk your job if you're trying to get the next new hero, <laughs> right? I I don't. Uh... That, that's not him. That's just my advice. <laughs> that doesn't come from Pants of Hulk. Yeah, no. They do not condone risking your job. We don't condone risking your job. All right. Okay, so let's so keep going on. The second day, you want to end around 3.5. Uh, third day, you want to end that night around 6.5 or 7 million. Right. Following the is same the, process. Is, so you should be able to get around uh, what you're saying is how many million per day? Like after uh, your first like day. It, it looks like I'm doing about 3 million a day. 3 million a day, repeating every two hours. Probably getting Just about take. nine, right? About nine blitz rotations about your two, three yes. teams. Yeah. That's, okay. Yeah. That was the, uh, that was the, uh, that was the math I did. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. And, you though. know, I, I'm not strict about it too. Like if I am stuck waiting for something, you know, I, when I, I take my girls to martial arts. Right. Got, right. Uh, two, two little kids I take to martial That's arts. That's awesome. Um, I'm stuck there for an hour. Uh, I might run all my teams. Yeah, exactly. So you, especially there, if I'm behind, right. like I missed a run. Oh well, I'll make it up. Yeah. So there's gonna be times in the day that everybody's got time. Then yeah. that's the time that you you know you run all your teams. The times that you don't, what we're suggesting is when you can't, obviously, just run two teams. Get in there quick. Yep. Run two, three teams, and then go. Yep. Okay. It's because it, it'll add up. Right. Add exactly. Up especially if you if you if you if you created your roster. So that you're using all your power. I mean, ideally, in a perfect world, you take the top line of your roster, mm -hmm. and that's your team, and you run it. Right. That would be great. But Not Red Stars, screw that up. The top of your roster with Red Stars now is probably just terrible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As a team. You got, like, uh, um, if you take my top five, I got uh, Phoenix, Gamora, Yandu. <laughs> <laughs> they can't even win. It's a weird team. I mean, maybe try it. Uh, I don't know. It might yeah, be great. Maybe. Especially... <laughs> For a, a weird blitz like this, yeah, I mean, uh, this is when put you that try team stuff. together and just try. When we do um, quarter blitzes, sometimes I'll do something like that. Right. Hey, actually, you, that's another good advice. Kind of experiment. Quarter blitz. Yeah. That doesn't Ex happen very often, but. Well, everybody should always experiment with the roster. Always try different yeah. things out. You never know. Yeah, and I'll, I, I change my team. blitz teams like uh, at least once a month. Right. Uh, I'll move something around. Think around. Because stuff will change. Especially nowadays, they're releasing heroes like three every week. So Yeah, you got to find a place for Rhino now. Yeah, exactly. Maybe, maybe you got to get Rhino, right right. Mysterio, <laughs> everybody. All right. All right. And so on the fourth day, um, I found with two teams, and we're talking around um, the 250 uh, power, and then my other teams are kind of close to about 200. I've got a lot of teams that are 150. Mm -hmm. um, I can end around 9.5 million, which is... That's impressive. That's really good. That, that, that's what you need to get all these really hard-to-get Blitz characters. Yeah. And on the third day, we're talking about hitting 6.5 million, which is enough to get pretty much everybody else. Yeah. And you can do that in the span of three days. Um, yeah, it's just kind of good to know that if you're stuck doing you know, low scores. Um, you don't have to exert yourself that much more to go up to the top 1,500. Yeah, I mean, that's that's such a relief, bro. All <laughs> my highest score before this, honest to God, my highest score was 6 million. And I felt like I was working overtime. I was stressing out. I was doing all these runs. It felt like I was doing a lot, but I wasn't. It's just weird. It was like not yeah, working when you, smart. Yeah, you start running your lower roster more, it doesn't really equate to more. Right. Um, because think about it, three of my lower teams, my last three teams, would not even equal one battle of my top team. So you're wasting all that time running three of those teams. Oh, well, you know what I mean? It's just not, it's not even worth it. You just run this team and spend your charges on just them real quick, four or five times. You'll get and, crazy. And here. your charges are, are limited too. Right, right. You only have so many. I mean, it's a lot spread over that amount of time, especially if you start with 500. Right. Um, I think you get, oh God, I don't know. I haven't done the math on it, but I always, I never end at zero. Right. I right. always have, even when I push to 9.5 million, I still, I, still I think maybe extra. only then will I actually go down to zero charges. 
Yeah, because you get 100 a day daily. So what is that? Four uh -huh. days. That's 400 there. And then if you do, I think, I'm not sure if you can get two challenges within those four days sometimes. So it's 90 <laughs> times three, 270 times two. It's another 540 maybe just on your challenges if you get them, yeah. you know, twice. So, yeah. So it's not enough to run your entire roster like that. Right. But um, you can definitely run three or four teams if, if uh, you don't have a lot of time throughout okay. the day. You don't have to do it every two hours if you just add a few more teams in that you run a lot. Right. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Next. You got, you got more? I think that might be about it. Uh, I was going to say, man, this, uh... is, this is so much information <laughs> coming at me all at once here. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm actually excited because my teams have all been like kind of changed around. You know, it's kind of like playing with new toys. So yeah, I'm like, absolutely. oh, I want to try these teams out. I want to see how they do. I want to see, you know, how they uh, how they operate. So I'm excited about that. I can't wait. To, like I said, I'm already, I got 1.3 at Ant-Man here just messing around. So I'm ex not really looking forward to Ant-Man. But tomorrow, I think there's something good should be coming. It's Thursday, right? It's 4th of July. Fireworks in the air. I'll be <laughs> off from work. So I'll be blitzing quite a bit, you know? Happy 4th of July, everybody. Yeah, man. Enjoy these blitz. Tips. Happy 4th of July, guys. So <laughs> that'll end it off here for us. Thanks a lot for tuning in. If this helped you out, always drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't, guys. We'll have more beautiful content coming out in the future for you guys. All right? So for now, I'm going to end it off here. Mr. Hargrave, thank you very much for everything that you, you do for the community, bro. This guy is awesome in our alliance. I just can't thank him enough. So thank you, everybody. I'm sure everybody's going to say thank you after they watch this video and hopefully helps them out. Excellent. Perfect. All right, guys. Have a good Happy night. Amazing.